When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Not a shadow can rise. Not a cloud in the skies, but his smile quickly drives it away. Not a doubt nor a fear, not a sign nor a tear can abide while we trust and obey. Oh, trust and obey, for there's no To trust and obey. Then in fellowship sweet, we will sit at his feet, or we'll walk by his side. he says we will do, where he sends we will go, never fear, only trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. And tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him as his word just to rest upon his promise just to know the said the Lord Jesus Jesus how I trust him
very own nature which object to God's anger, just like everyone else. Isn't it interesting and how they strike me that people are busy doing all kinds of things, following their craving desires and thoughts, like according to the Bible, they not going after your dreams. We learn more from Jesus in chapter 2. God is so rich in mercy. He loved us so much that even though we were dead because of our sin, even though we were dead because of our sin, He gave us life when He raised Christ from the dead. It is only by God's grace that we are saved by faith. For He raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with Him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ Jesus. God saved you by His grace when you believe. You can't take credit for it. It is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good thing we have done. So none of us can boast about it. For we are God's masterpiece. Remember last week we talked about how the Bible is Master, touched by the master. He has created us anew in Christ, Jesus, so we can do the things, the good things, that he planned for us long ago. Life comes from within when the Holy Spirit opens our eyes and our hearts to know and believe in Jesus Christ as our Savior. Life is in connection with Jesus to our baptism in the Word and the Lord's Supper. Wherever Jesus is, there is life. Life is shown to the world when we live out a life of faith that produces good works in accordance with God's will. This is what Jesus has come to give us. He is the door to life. The opposite of those who climb over the wall. They are the thieves, the robbers who come in to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus said that there are those who want to do the same thing to his chief, his children, the people, you and I, he cursed and died for with his blood. They want to hear us away from the church, take what is theirs, and destroy them. What do we have as Christians that thieves want to take from us? We have money, we have time, we have families, we have possessions, homes, just like the rest of the world, but we have more than that. In the spiritual sense, we have the peace of knowing all our sins are forgiven. We know that angels are here to protect us, that God works all things out for our good. We have purpose in this life, knowing that we are here to serve our Lord, our jobs, our positions in life. Even in the midst of death, we have hope of heaven and the resurrection. We have joy as we enjoy the gift that God has given us. We have forgiveness that we freely give to each other. We have a special treasure. The pearl who has Jesus as our door that is open for us to have this life abundantly in Christ. To live this love so grand that we don't really understand, but raises us up like the song you raise me up speaks to. You raise me up to more than I can be. There is no life, no life without us hunger. Each restless heartbeat, though on earth. But when you come and I am filled with wonder, sometimes I think I glimpse eternity. Picture this. You're watching your son play a baseball game on a beautiful day. You're looking forward to spending a nice afternoon at the ballpark. But the parent next to you is yelling at the other and be at the coast for his prayer call. 
know it's the same mistakes that we don't do. You can't enjoy watching your son play ball. But before you knew it, he climbed over your wall and stole the joy from it. Imagine you take a beautiful day and turn it into sheer bit. That's all you could do was focus on the mistake being made. Jesus wants you to focus on him as the door to abundant life that year. Not one that is focused on your own perception of life. He showed the disciples the door that he is the door for he to their room. Not by a physical door, but by a spiritual door. He wanted them to see, to really see and believe that he is the light given them the key to open his door to light and to become his light of abundance to life. He wants you to be the light that he gives you. Show others the door, lead them to the door for which they can enter to find the peace, the rest, the mercy, the justice, the wonderful word of life. Word that are filled with the wisdom of truth through which they can see his light shining, the abundant light he wants to give them. Word that can provide healing assurance of his amazing grace, which shames our perspective to value his love and desire to be with us. Healing words of comfort and strength to endure the struggles and challenges of this temporal we are not alone, that he is with us always. Jesus has proven his door is open to those who believe in him, for he is alive, having conquered death, for the grave could not hold him there. Jesus gives us the key to use to open the door to heaven, and that key is faith. Just simply believe in him, for he says not and the door will be open. You will knock on your door when you invite him in. I want to share a lyric from the song that we will show you shortly. Well, the moral of the story is everybody's got a purpose. So when I hear the devil start talking to me, saying, who do you think you are? I say, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody all about somebody who saved my soul. Ever since you rescued me, you gave my heart a song to sing. Let's become the nobody, trying to tell everybody all about this somebody who saved our soul. This somebody named Jesus Christ. That is the point of life that Jesus invites us to enter this door to experience. That is complete freely given forgiveness and the final light of love peace that this world can never, never give, that only he can give to our believing in him. Oh, what rich joy and grace awaits us when we enter the place he had prepared for us in his heavenly mansion. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
best things has done in whom this world rejoices who from my mother's arms has blessed a son our way with countless gifts of love and still Praise Him, 